Hey everyone, welcome back to Winterfell Camp, me lad from the woods. Um, just got a fast question for people, so if you could leave your, you know, comments down below, good or bad, okay, because I need people's honest opinion about it. Now, anything gets stupid, I'm just going to block it, but, um, or whatever it is you do on the different things. Anyways, um, a few of you uh, that follow me pretty closely on YouTube, um, you know what I'm going through with the uh, trying to sell the bus. The bus I've been having trouble selling. I've had to lower my price way more than I ever wanted to. And uh, so, because the motor's blown, okay? It's a Ford 6.0 diesel. Um, I had a guy come look at it, as you all know. And basically, we're pretty sure it's the head in the head gasket or something in that along that lines. Because there's oil in the, uh, in the, rad, uh, in the radiator. So anyhow, um, I see a lot of people doing these GoFundMes and stuff like that. Now, I don't know if that's the proper thing to do is like start a GoFundMe to maybe repair this motor, you know, and then I can get this thing sold before winter or trade it for a real RV or something. But I don't know if that's the sort of thing people should be doing or not. Like I, I said in another video, I have a friend that needed help with her, during her time of cancer and stuff. And uh, so she didn't ever, she never got the whole amount or whatever it is that they were doing. But, um, um, you know, that seems legitimate to me. Like, okay, somebody is like facing, you know, the big six foot under there, you know, and you got, you need money or whatever, and you've got no help, no family, whatever. Um, okay. But in this case, I mean, do you start a GoFundMe to repair a motor? You know, uh, now I am, I'm on pension and all this, and I do a little bit of side work to try and keep the fridge full, and I buy my mother her groceries, all that stuff, right? So, you know, gas, there's this pickup truck, the payments are just killer on it. I don't even know how it is. We're not already bankrupt. Anyways, if I sold everything here, I'd be a millionaire, but I won't sell a damn thing here as long as my mother says she can stay in that house, and she will stay in that house for as long as I can possibly keep her there. If she's happy, that's where she stays. So anyways, uh, but that day comes, then I'm not going to worry about money ever. I mean, the day she, you know, goes home or worse, um, then I'll sell everything and I'll be on the road. I won't care. But uh, now, and I mean, I'm hoping she's another 10 years and... Anyway, I didn't want to get into all that. <laughs> My family on her side lives uh, lives well into their 90s. So I'm pretty sure we've got good genetics on my side here, keeping mom around. So yeah, can you guys leave a message down in the comments? Uh, let me know what you think about me starting a GoFundMe or whatever these other ones are. I don't know which ones are which. Um, and if it's even something you're allowed to do for something like, can you guys help me out with replacing a motor for the RV? Then I'll film and do whatever or, you know, anyway. So as always, be good to your fellow human. Please like, share and subscribe. And I have totally fucked this up because now I just realized it's not in a short and I was going to do a YouTube short and they're only one minute. Okay, well, this one will go to TikTok and those other places. Okay, talk to you later. Bye bye.